in which we firstly discussed about electric current what is the direction of electric current how electric current is calculated and how electric current flows through any metal wire later on we also studied about the ohms law okay in which we actually discussed how electric current increases if we increase the potential across the wire and later on we also studied about the resistance of wire or the concept of resistance as we know that resistance is the property which opposes the flow of electric current any property which opposes the flow of electric current is called resistance okay now as we studied in our previous classroom lectures we also know about the origin of such internal resistance in a wire as we know that when a potential is joined across the end of wire it will set up electric field within it okay due to that electric field all the electrons are exerted by uh, or experiences a force okay which drift all these electrons from negative potential to positive potential okay and due to such drifting of all electrons within the wire from negative potential to positive potential electric current produces which is directed opposite to flow of electron that is from positive potential to negative potential as we know that now during the motion of such electrons these electrons are constantly colliding on the stationary ions in their path now the collision of such moving electron okay due to effect of electric field which produces due to application of electric potential or battery these electrons are constantly colliding on the stationary ions in their path and the collision of such moving electrons with these stationary ions actually creates the internal resistance of wire that means the presence of stationary ions in the path of moving electrons creates the disturbance or creates uh, or the obstacle in the path of electrons and that obstacle is actually okay known as or which opposes the flow of electron and it produces electric uh, resistance across the wire across that wire right right now student now let us discuss about the dependence of that internal resistance of wire on which factor the internal resistance of wire depends okay dependence of internal resistance now to understand the dependence of internal resistance of wire let us take some examples now student let we have two wires a and wire b which are made up of same material let us imagine they all are made up of copper okay these are the two wires which are made up of same material copper okay and both wire has the same thickness or cross sectional area but it is found that wire a is little bit of longer than wire b if now we join the same potential or same battery across the wire 10 volt 10 volt it is found that electric current flowing through wire b that is ib and electric current flowing through wire a is considered to be ia and we found that electric current flowing through wire a is smaller than electric current flowing through wire b okay what does this indicate this indicates that the wire b okay offers less amount of resistance as compared to wire a because as we know that if electric current increases it will ultimately reduce the value of current no if the resistance is smaller then current is found to be higher in that wire therefore as 
the electric current in wire B is more. Therefore, resistance of wire B is found to be smaller than resistance of wire A. Okay. So, it is found that it is found from this example that if the length of wire increases, it will increase the resistance of wire. As we look here, let length of wire A is considered to be LA and length of wire B is considered to be LB. And as we know that LA is greater than LB. As the length is more, resistance is also more. Therefore, we can say that internal resistance of wire capital R is directly proportional to the length of wire if area of cross section and material of wire are same. This is the first point okay, on which internal resistance of wire depends. What is? Okay, it is the length. Okay. If the length of wire increases, it will ultimately increase the resistance of wire. Got it? Okay. Now, let us take the same example. Now, student, again, we have the same wire, wire A and wire B, which are made up of same material. Let us take, they are made up of copper. Okay. Now, the length of wire A and length of wire B both are considered to be the same that is L okay but we take wire B little bit of thicker than wire A as both have same length they are made up of same material but okay their cross sectional area is found to be different wire A is considered to be thinner than wire B okay which is comparatively thicker got it okay let us make it more clear let the area of cross section of wire A is considered to be A dash or A1 and area of wire B is considered to be A2 as we know from the figure that A1 is smaller than A2. A is little bit of thicker, uh, thinner than the wire B. Therefore, its cross-sectional area is smaller than this. Got it? Now, if we join the same battery again of 10 volt across both the wire. This is also a battery of 10 volt and this is also 10 volt. Okay, it is found that electric current flowing through both wire is different. Therefore, we can say that the resistance of both wire is also different. Why? Because resistance, as we know that resistance is the quantity which opposes the flow of current. If the opposition is higher, that is resistance is higher, then current is ultimately lower. Got it? So, here what we observe the electric current flowing through wire a that is i a and electric current flowing through wire b is considered to be i b and here what we observe electric current flowing through wire a is smaller than electric current flowing through wire b as the current flowing in wire b is more its resistance Rb is found to be smaller. Therefore, as the area of cross section increases, it will decrease the value of resistance. It will decrease the value of resistance and it will ultimately increase the value of current. Therefore, we can say that the internal resistance of wire Okay, look here from this example, internal resistance of wire is inversely proportional to cross-sectional area. Therefore, we can say that internal resistance R of these wire 
is inversely proportional to their cross sectional area therefore we know that internal resistance of any wire depends upon ultimately the length of wire okay and also on the area of cross section these are the two main factors or in which the internal resistance of wire depends okay how internal resistance of wire is related to length that internal resistance capital r is directly proportional to length and the relation between internal resistance and area of cross section is internal resistance of wire r is inversely proportional to area of cross section okay do you understand these are the two factors on which internal resistance of wire depends now let us take the another example so that we can again understand this concept of dependence of internal resistance now students take two wires of same length same cross sectional area okay these are the two wires which are exactly identical identical by their length identical by their cross sectional area or thickness but this wire is made up of copper okay and this wire is made up of another material another metal okay let us consider it is made up of nichrome okay one wire is made up of nichrome and the other wire is made up of copper okay and both wire has same length same cross sectional area but they are made up of different materials different mat metals okay if now we joined again the battery of same potential 10 volt across both the wire it is also found that though they have same length and same cross sectional area but the electric current flowing through them is found to be different in both the cases okay that means the next factor on which electric uh, internal resistance of wire depends and it is the nature of material okay of which the wire is made up of this material also decides the resistance okay so student in this topic okay we actually found out the three main <coughs> factors on which the internal resistance of wire depends and they are length area of cross sectional and nature of material of wire got it okay now okay so as we know that the internal resistance of wire that is capital r is directly proportional to its length and it is inversely proportional to area of cross section these are the two main top uh, main factors on which the internal resistance of wire depends and we also find out how these two factors are related to internal resistance in this in this way okay now if we write this two equation combinedly we can write it okay like this internal resistance capital r is proportional to l upon a where l is length of wire and a is area of cross section now student if we want to find out the exact value of internal resistance of any wire having length l and area of cross section a we need to replace this proportionality sign by 
an equal sign and to replace the proportionality sign by equal sign we need to define constant of their relation let us <coughs> define here a constant called rho which is called as resistivity of material of wire okay and we can write this equation in terms of this constant as r equals to rho l upon a where this constant of proportionality rho it's called resistivity of material of wire this resistivity decides the ability of material okay to allow electric current that means how the given material okay allows electric current to flow through it when a potential is joined across it this is called resistivity of material of wire now from this equation the resistivity of material can be written as we can rho which is equal to r a by l this is the internal resistance or this is the specific resistance or resistivity of material of wire this is how we calculate the specific resistance or resistivity it is also called as resistivity resistivity of material of any wire having internal resistance capital r cross sectional area capital a and length l from this equation the unit of resistivity is written as ohm for resistance unit of area is meter square and unit of length is meter so resistivity unit of resistivity becomes ohm meter this is the unit of resistivity okay now let us understand again the resistivity using this mathematical formula now student if area of cross section a is considered to be 1 meter square and length of wire is considered to be 1 meter that means if we take any wire having cross sectional area 1 meter square and its length as 1 meter then as a and l becomes unity we can write rho equals to r then internal resistance of that wire it's called its resistivity therefore we define resistivity as the internal resistance of any wire having unit cross sectional area 1 meter square and unit length it's called its resistivity resistivity of any material means the internal resistance of wire made up of that material having unit length that is 1 meter and cross sectional area as 1 meter square that internal resistance of that wire is called specific resistance or resistivity do you understand okay let us okay discuss it one again one second now student as we know that the internal resistance of wire depends upon the two main factors which we discussed using the previous examples that internal resistance capital r is directly proportional to length and this internal resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section got it now if we write these two separate mathematical equation combinedly we can write it in this way r that is internal resistance is proportional to l by a got it now 
if we want to replace this proportionality sign by equal sign to determine the value of exact internal resistance okay we need to define constant of proportionality and here that constant of proportionality is rho which is called as resistivity of material it is actually a resistivity of material of which the wire is made up of okay so we can write this equation as capital r equals to rho l upon a rho l upon a now student this rho will be equals to r a upon l now using this mathematical formula of resistivity okay we determine the unit of specific resistance or resistivity and it is ohm meter okay now using this formula we again define the resistivity as if a is considered to be 1 meter square and l is considered to be 1 meter then what we get we get rho equals to r therefore resistivity of material is defined as the internal resistance of material of wire having 1 meter square of cross sectional area and 1 meter of length 1 meter length and 1 meter square cross sectional area okay the internal resistance of such wire which has 1 meter square of cross sectional area and 1 meter of length it's called the resistivity of that material okay so this resistivity actually decides the ability of material to allow electric current okay if the resistivity of material is higher okay if resistivity of material is higher then that material will provide large amount of resistance to flow of electric current so that electric current will be reduced in that material and if the resistivity of material is very small then it will allow large amount of current to flow through them okay which happens in the case of metals as we know that because metals has lower resistivity therefore this resistivity decides okay the classification of materials into conductor insulator and semiconductor as we know that for conductor the resistivity is very very small for insulator where resistivity is very very high and for semiconductor the resistivity is moderate okay these are the main factors on which internal resistance of wire depends along with these three there are certain things which also decides the value of internal resistance okay that is the temperature if temperature of fire increases it will also increase the resistance okay but this dependence of resistance on temperature is beyond the scope of our syllabus therefore you need not need to understand that topic okay this is the dependence of internal resistance got it thank you